What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust this 3D mockup I have available on my store. If you wanted to create videos similar to this for your Instagram, social media, you name it, make sure to watch the whole video. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to my website, which is Shopify store. We have multiple payment option. We're going to be purchasing the short pants and 3D mockups. As you can see, it comes with your marvelous Clo 3D file. So if you want to adjust it, you can Blender file, texture files, Photoshop, Alembic, and OBJ file. Here's a little preview. You can use sub 1K to get 50% off. Orders over $6 is a bunch of products of my store. Um, and your support is greatly appreciated. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to download Blender. Blender is a 3D software that you can use to edit this product. Uh, it's totally free, so that's great. The next thing you want to do is download Photoshop. If you don't have the funds to purchase that, there is a, another platform that you can use called Photopia. I'd suggest checking out Skill Factory's YouTube tutorial explaining how to use this. I'll link all of those videos and applications in my description. Once we have downloaded that, we can see we have a design folder, materials, and your project file. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender. As you can see, everything looks great for now, but we're just going to go up to the top middle and hit viewport shading, and this is going to create that realistic look. Now for the Blender file, we have your shorts in a 360 motion. As you can see down on the bottom tile on here, there's keyframes on both sides. This is your start and end. We have a static, which has no movement, shorts walking which is just going to be walking straight towards you. And then we have a shorts walking in a 360 motion. Now, in order to render this out, you must always make sure that you have both the eye and the camera selected on the layer, or else you might be editing the wrong layer. I've noticed a couple times that people have the camera on over here, on this layer, and they have the eye on this layer. And what you're seeing now is not what's going to render out. So you must make sure both the eye and the camera is on. So we're just going to go up to the Shorts 360 and click on it. So in the right here, we have our Materials panel. Um, we have your Shorts Main, which is going to be affected by your Photoshop document, your Shorts Stitching, and your Shorts Lace, which is also going to be affected by your Photoshop document. Your Translucent Lace, don't change that, leave that as is. And your Shorts Stitching, you can change the color of your Shorts and see we have slight color at the bottom here uh, you can just change it by clicking on the base color and bring it down you'll see it's a little bit darker now so this is only going to be on your shorts 360 and your short static layer when we go to the shorts walking layer we're going to see there's only two materials um, your shorts main as i mentioned before is going to be affected by your photoshop document and you're going to see how we're going to change that now so let's go back to the shorts 360 layer what are we going to do now is click on your shorts main material um, we're going to go back to the folder that we downloaded um, and look for your shorts design in the design folder and double click to open up Photoshop. So what we have here is my two logos, your lace color and then your stitching color. So as I mentioned for the walking, this is going to affect everything as we have minimal materials and then for your 360 you can change your stitching color in the materials panel. So what we're going to do now is we're going to update this folder so you could see it was white earlier so if you go to this layer we can change that so i'm gonna make it let's make it like a like a gray color for the stitching we're gonna keep it as is and the lace color let's make it black to drop your logos in you can simply just drag across and drop it in and hit ok to move them around you can press ctrl t and place and then you can delete or hide these other two layers so I'm just going to have everything agency up in the front and hit save. When you go back into Blender, you'll see that it hasn't been updated yet. Um, to update this, we're going to go back to our shaders area, look for shorts design. We're going to unlink this, hit open and look for the downloaded folder that we have. So in our designs, we will find the shorts design and we can hit open. You'll now see that everything has been updated except the laces. So the reason why the lace has not been updated yet is because you need to go into the shorts lace and update the file. You'll notice that the lace is a lot smoother. This is why I've separated it because when you add the texture to the lace, it starts to freak out a little bit. So just make sure to go down to the lace material um, and then hover over, unlink, open up, and then look for that Photoshop document, designs, shorts, and you'll see it's been updated. 
You'll now see that our laces are black and we have our logo at the bottom here. When we go to our shorts walking panel, we'll see that it has also been updated. Um, for this, you don't have to change anything because it's already been changed in the static. So I suggest just working with the shorts 360 um, for your basic changes. And then if you want to do the walking animation, you can go into that. To change the background, all you need to do is click on this yellow section um, and you'll see in your materials panel, your backdrop will pop up and then you can just go to base color and adjust it. So far well, that's looking great. So the next thing you want to do is for your output settings, which is your rendering. Um, let's click on the output panel and we're going to just be edit, exporting a 1920 by 1080 at 30 FPS and make sure to start at frame 60 and end at frame 360. You're going to choose your output folder, which for me is just going to be on my desktop, create a new folder, call it renders and hit accept. We're going to be exporting in PNG, not video format. That way if our computer crashes, we can just restart and to restart, you can just whatever frame it ends on, you can say frame start. So if it ended on frame 90, we just go like that. I'm going to set it back to 60. And then you're going to go up to the top right, hit render animation, and it will start rendering out frame by frame. You'll see that it on average takes about 30 seconds per frame. So you're looking at, if you have an M1 Pro, you're looking at for 300 frames, you're looking at a render time of 150 minutes, which is about just over two and a half hours. Once that is complete, you'll see that when you go to your render folder, that your PNGs will come out frame by frame. It might not look like it's moving, but when you go through it, you'll see that it starts to move quite a bit. Uh, to import that, you can just go into Adobe or whatever software you're using and say import image sequence and it will set it up as a video and then you can export it that way. If you are wanting to change the camera angle, I have set up a second camera in the studio folder. So you can simply just click on camera two, hide this first camera and reveal the second camera. Go up to the top left, say view cameras, set active camera. This is just going to give you a tighter angle. If you want to adjust the angle or the dimensions, uh, we can go up to your resolution and set it to 1080. That's going to give you a 1080 by 1080 is going to give you a square look um, and then go to your 3D viewport, move it around and when we click on the camera, press G on your keyboard and then you're going to use Z, X and Y to adjust it left and right. And then to rotate, you can press R and then Z and then you can adjust like that. One thing that I have noticed, if there is some unlinking issues and you're not getting the same textures, um, you can just click on your shorts main. Um, you're just going to head over to your roughness map. You're going to unlink this and hit open and then look for the materials folder. And you're just going to look for roughness and hit open. And then you're going to do the same thing for normal. Um, this will just relink your files and then you should get that texturing, which looks really good. Make sure to change your roughness to non-color and then also your normal after you've linked. If this video did help you, please make sure to drop a like, comment and sub. And if you are new here, don't forget to leave the notification bell on. I'm going to be dropping a video on how I created this exact piece in my next video. So make sure to follow along. If you do need any help, welcome to drop into the Discord. I have a support ticket which you can open or you can just drop it in general or search the help forum um, for which whatever you're looking for. There's quite a few answers in there. Um, otherwise, I'm happy to help you. If you have any suggestions for new products that you like made, check out my suggested channel and drop an image in there and I'll be happy to make something for you. Thanks so much for the support and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.